One of the distinguishing features about American foreign policy, since the Woodrow Wilson administration, it was World War I was a war to make the world safe for democracy. But from Wilson through FDR, Lyndon Johnson, George W. Bush, and now Barack Obama, one of the themes of all of our presidents has been that the United States is a staunch supporter of democracy. The most recent iteration of this has to do with the Arab Spring, but say this is a theme of American foreign policy. Well, the question that I ask, especially in this new book, is that the United States should engage in truth and advertising. That if we are genuinely suspicious of democracy, as I think a lot of people are, quite frankly, then we ought to own up to the rest of the world that maybe we're not such great supporters of democracy at all. That here we have the richest, one of the most literate countries in the world, uh, function, you know, more or less functioning economy, and we're scared to death of democracy in a number of ways. So why should we think that democracy is the answer for, you know, for other countries? Maybe they should think of a Republican form of government. Now, that's not my view, but what is my view is that we should have a long, long overdue debate about what we mean as a nation by democracy and whether the American system of government, especially at the national level, qualifies.